Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to this week's Tech Tip Tuesday. This week we're going to be looking at how to define stock from SolidWorks configurations in SolidWorks Cam and CamWorks. Okay, let's get started. So the part we're looking at here today is a connecting rod or a similar linkage. And parts like these, and many parts in general, are often made in multiple manufacturing steps. In the case of connecting rods, they might be made in a drop forged process and then later machined to ensure correct fits. So particularly, these holes here might be bored after a drop forging process uh, to ensure that they correctly fit on bearings or similar surfaces. So let's say that this is the part we get out of our drop forging process. This isn't just a common part with like a bounding box or, or rectangular shape that can be easily approximated with other stock options. So in this case, we might want to use this as our stock for the machining process. Here's the part we want, and here's the part we're going to be starting with. This is going to be our stock. I'll quickly show us how to create the stock configuration. So in the configurations tree in SolidWorks, I'm going to right click the name here, add configuration. We're going to call it stock. And we're just going to go back into the feature tree here. And we're essentially going to suppress the modifications that we're making to the part. In this case, it's just these cut extrudes. We'll suppress that. And now we have our stock configuration set up. We click back to our default and we can see this is the part we want. And this is the stock we're going to be starting with. And in this case scenario, we're talking about multiple manufacturing steps from drop forging to then machining. Um, this can also be really useful in, you know, any other manufacturing process and really any other parts you might receive from vendors that you often modify. So you might take that step file or whatever file the vendor gives you, maybe do your modifications in SolidWorks. And again, you can take advantage of these uh, SolidWorks configurations to make an accurate stock. So we're going to reselect the configuration of the part we actually want to machine. And we're going to go to our CamWorks or our SolidWorks Cam feature tree tab. From here, I've already defined a machine. And now we'll go into our stock manager. As you can see, we're looking at a default bounding box. This isn't what the stock is going to be. We want to ensure our stock in there is accurate. So material type, I've already selected 1018 low carbon alloy steel. And here are our options for defining stock type. This is the one here we're going to select from part file. It gives it the option to go find another part and select it. But in this case, because we already have um, the configuration set up in our current part, we're going to hit current part. From here, we can select which configuration we're going to select stock. And there you have it. Now it recognizes where the stock is and uh, it's filled in by those shaded edges. We're going to click OK. We're going to quickly define our coordinate system. Stock bounding box. OK, it's already been defined on this corner. Z is in the direction we want. OK, we're good to go. So now we'll just extract our machinable features. It's recognized these two holes here in our stock. And like I said before, we're going to want to uh, be boring these holes out. So we're going to switch the strategy on these holes to bore. And th these are strategies essentially you can set up by default in your tech DB. So for maybe hole sizes uh, of this size and in this material by default, it might go to a boring strategy and that would help you not have to go in there and manually change it yourself. So we'll go ahead. We'll generate the operation plan. We'll generate the tool paths. We see here, okay, these operations just aren't in the order we want. So we'll quickly sort the operations just so we get an accurate representation. Sort by tool as well. We'll hit OK. And now we'll go ahead and we'll simulate it. So you can see here's our stock that we're starting with. And there you have it. There's our finished part. It's really as easy as that. I uh, hope this was helpful and we'll see you next week. Thanks.